What's up, second grade? Mr. Hunter here with your second grade uh, language and phonics lesson for today. Uh, we're going to be out of our language book, uh, 269 and 270. You guys have a lot of work today, so I hope you're ready to get started here. Um, we're going to start off by reading the box at the top there of the page. Write your name and write your date as you listen to me talk. All right, it says use the letter A before nouns that begin with consonant sounds. And then use an, A-N, before words that begin with vowel sounds. So guys, if you just think about this right here, if you list all your vowels, what are our vowels? A, E, I, O, U. If you just talk about the vowels, you're gonna use an before words that begin with vowel sounds. So number one, let's look at number one and let's try this out. Let's see if we get it. Cause I'm talking to you, but it's better to practice it to see how we work it out. All right, everybody ready? Solomon, Ada, Naomi, Michael, Mackenzie, thumbs up. Let's get it. All right, it says write A or an in front of each word. So we have inspector. Hmm, inspector. Now, what does it say? What is the letter does it start with? Is it A inspector or an inspector? Well, it says use an before words that begin with vowel sounds. Is I a vowel? A, E, I, O. Oh, there it is. We don't have to do anything else. So it's going to be an, an inspector, an, A-N, inspector. All right, let's look at raspberry. Okay, does that start with a vowel? First off, let's look at raspberry. Raspberry, A, E, I, O, U. Nope, that starts with the letter R. So do we need to even check? No, it just tells us right there. Those are the rules at the top. So if it doesn't start with a vowel, we're gonna put A because that's a consonant uh, sound that we have there. So raspberry gets A raspberry. Will we say and raspberry? It doesn't even sound right. So even if you're confused, try to say it. And if it doesn't sound right, that may give you a clue as well, okay? You're gonna do the next one. I'll do the next one with you, but then you're gonna do the last three. Giant, giant. And giant or a giant? You saw a giant. All right, so now I think you guys are getting it. So you can do the last three on your own and we're gonna keep moving forward. All right, and again, we're moving through this lesson. I'm simply, I'm gonna do some of the problems with you. You have some dictation as well. But for the most part, I'm just gonna give you the instructions and maybe go over one or two answers and you're gonna do the whole thing. So if I move too fast, pause the video and then you can jump back in. All right, for number two, it says read the sentences. That's our first step. So if you need to underline that, go ahead, underline. Then it says, use the proofreader's marks to correct the mistakes. That's number two. And it has all of our proofreader's marks there. It says capitalize, there's three lines. Spelling, you put SP. Delete, you put that squiggly. And then insert, you put an upside down triangle um, or a triangle that's not completed there. And then lowercase LC for lowercase. So you read the sentence as one, Use the proofreader's marks to correct the mistakes. And then number three, use the delete mark to change a word. Use the delete mark to change a word. So the delete mark is when you just put a slash through, all right? The delete marks put you with a slash through and then you write the word tiny above it, all right? When you write the word over it, you have to write it tiny above it. All right, so let's look at the first one, all right? Example, it says, I ate a apple for my snack. Hmm, I ate... Apple starts with A. So remember, anytime it's a, out, it's a vowel, you have to change it to an. So we cross that out. We put a delete with the squiggly. We put I ate an apple for my snack. Is snack spelled correctly? It's not spelled correctly. So what do we need to do? We need to put an SP for spelling so we can change it to the correct spelling. All right, that's what we do. So that's for example there. Let's look at our own work and what we're going to be doing. I'll read the first sentence with you and I'll do the first sentence. You're gonna to have to do the rest of them, all right? Here we go. Camping in a national park is fun and not very expensive. Camping in an, wait a minute. We put an, but an only goes before words that start with a vowel sound. Is national, does national have a vowel? Latin N, so vowels are A, E, I, O, U. N is not a noun. So we need to erase that N or an and we can delete that. So let's put a, a delete, proofreader's mark, let's put a delete straight through the and, and then what do we need to write above the and? The letter A. So it says camping in a national park is fun. Okay, that sounds good. Camping in a national park is fun and not very expensive. Wait a minute, there's something missing. I feel like that was a sentence, but there's no sign. What do we need to do? We need to put the insert sign, the upside, the triangle that's not completed, put the triangle, and then what do we need to draw? What punctuation mark? Is that a question? Were they excited? No, just put a period. Just put a period, okay? That is what you're going to be doing. You guys have done this uh, many times. You can do it again. 
Um, I, I know you're, I have trust in you and faith in you, and I believe that you're going to be able to get that done. Now, before you start, let's get to the bottom of the page because it's time for dictation. Dictation. I have six words. You're going to write the words. I'm going to go across the first column at the top all the way across. Then we're going to go to the bottom all the way across. All right? Here we go. Your first word is talking. 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 No one should be talking during the test. Talking. Talking. Your second word, catching. 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 I love catching the football. I love catching the football. Solomon and Michael are good at catching the football too. Solomon and Michael are good at catching the football too. Number three, across the top, across the top, driving, driving. You guys won't be driving for a long time. You guys won't be driving for a long time. Yeah, not for a long time. You gotta see over the steering wheel first. Driving. All right, at the bottom, bottom row, bottom row. Your first word is smiled, smiled. I bet your parents smiled when they heard that last sentence I said. I bet your parents smiled when they heard that last sentence I said. I smiled when I heard that last sentence I said. All right, next word on the bottom row, hopped, hopped, hopped. The bunny hopped across the grass. The bunny hopped across the grass. The bunny hopped across the grass. And your last word, scrubbed, scrubbed, scrubbed. I scrubbed my shoes until they were clean. I scrubbed my shoes until they were clean. Scrubbed. All right, we're gonna keep going. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. I just wanna give you the instructions, all right? Turn your page over to uh, page 270. For number one, it says match the words to make compound words. So we're gonna match two words, smush them together, bring them together, and make compound words. It says write the compound words on the logs for the campfire. Okay, so we have the word foot. Hmm, we have foot. We should put bell, foot bell, foot pan, mm, foot fly, no. Foot butter, no. Foot door, that doesn't sound right. Foot cake, no. Foot yard, no. Footprint, footprint. Hey, I like, that's a, that's a word. So we need to combine those together and we're gonna write that on one of the logs. And then the biggest thing you guys gotta do, you gotta cross out the let, cross out the words once you use them so you don't get confused and say, I, did, I already, I didn't use this, All right? Footprint, that's what you're doing for that first section there. You guys will do the rest, I know you'll do it well. Number two, it says choose the correct word to finish the sentence, finish each sentence. You have two choices and then you have to put it in a blank. So my favorite flower is a daisy. But which flower is it? You guys see what you're doing there? You have to pick and choose the correct spelling or the correct meaning. But all these are spelled correctly, but they have two different meanings, all right? And then the last one, number three, it says mark the sentences. Diagram the sentences. This is something that you guys have done before. Read your diagrams to see if they make sense. So we're going to underline the subject one time. Then we're gonna underline the verb two times. And we're gonna put the subject on the left, so the verb on the right. Everybody got it? So let's read the first sentence. It says, the happy children race to the bus. Who are we talking about? We're talking about the children. We're talking about the children. So we need to do what? We need to underline it once. The subject gets underlined once. And then what do they do to the bus? They race to the bus. They race to the bus, all right? That's two lines for the verb. So the two lines go underneath of race. And then we put children raced. You always need to read the sentence over to see if it makes sense. That's what it says in the directions, and it does that for a reason, all right? That is what you're going to be doing for section three. Like I said, a lot of work, fun work, work that's going to challenge you, work that I think you guys should know already, and work that it's going to be a breeze. Um, you guys have a great rest of your day. I love you, and you already know. There's nothing you can do about it. See you all tomorrow.